What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I'm going to be covering a really commonly requested topic, and this is muzzle flash concealment in Black Ops Cold War. And this is a characteristic you see with many of the muzzle attachments in this game, including suppressors. And I've had a lot of people wondering, what does it mean to have 85% muzzle flash concealment compared to 100% muzzle flash concealment? And it turns out there's some interesting behavior here that I found while doing my testing. Now first up, I'll tell you guys right up front, the most important thing that this stat will affect is how you appear on the minimap when firing your gun for enemy players. However, I'm going to save that part until last because there's a few other things that I wanted to have a look at, and this is taking a more literal look at how this is labeled. Muzzle Flash Concealment. Normally when we're discussing muzzle flash in Call of Duty, we're talking about the muzzle flash from a first person perspective. So what does it look like for you while firing your gun? And how much is your vision going to be obstructed while firing the gun? Are you going to have a huge flame that's shooting out and potentially blocking your target? Or is it just going to be a little bit of smoke? So let's get into this. In the example here, I'm using the AK-47. This will vary a little bit depending on the gun that you're using. But I still wanted to get this point across. With no attachments when I fired a shot, I took a screenshot on the frame where my view was most obstructed by firing that shot. And as you can see, even with no attachments, there's really not much at all going on with muzzle flash. It's mainly just a smoke cloud that comes out of the gun, which is a little bit strange. It looks more like a black powder gun than a modern cartridge, but that's what it looks like with no attachments. There's actually very little muzzle flash with the AK-47. Now let's have a look at the SOCOM Eliminator, which gives us 85% muzzle flash concealment. And as you can see here, it definitely isn't helping your muzzle flash in first person. You're getting significantly more muzzle flash here, which may seem like it goes against the description, but in reality, this is what an attachment like this would do. It ports the gases out the side, just like with a muzzle brake, and you would actually be seeing more muzzle flash. We see that same trend with the Flash Guard 9 attachment, which gives us 90% muzzle flash concealment. Again, this actually makes your visible muzzle flash way worse in first person. And then finally we have the suppressor, which gives us about the same muzzle flash as without any attachments. However, I notice it also seems to reduce that smoke effect by quite a bit. So the suppressor actually helps a lot for first person shooting. So that's what it looks like in first person. And if you're reading the description of the attachment, just know that it might not behave the way that you may think it will. That muzzle flash concealment stat doesn't necessarily line up with what you see in first person. What about third person though? What about enemies? Does this help their muzzle flash concealment when you're looking at them shooting? So first up, this enemy has no attachments on his gun. And a big thing to point out here is there's some pretty crazy illumination if the enemy is in a darker area, like inside a darker room you can really see that room light up with every shot that's fired. Now, is this actually gonna be all that helpful in a real game? Probably not, because you're gonna be seeing them pop up on the minimap. You're gonna be hearing the gunshots really clearly. So I guess it's just one extra thing that's sort of showing you where they are. If they were firing their gun from around a corner, for instance. But I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference. Now let's move on to that SOCOM Eliminator, which gives us 85% concealment. And as you can see here, that lighting effect where it actually illuminates the room, that completely disappears when you have this attachment. And it turns out that appears to apply to any attachment that improves your muzzle flash concealment. At least every one that I tested. It just eliminates that illumination when you fire your gun. Which again, for that particular aspect, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference to your gameplay. I really don't think you're going to be getting killed too often just because you happen to light that room up. But I did think this was an interesting result and I wanted to share it in this video. And now it's time to move into the primary reason that you should be using attachments that help with muzzle flash concealment. And this is the interaction with the minimap. So right here in the situation, in the first clip, the enemy has no attachments on his gun. And just pay attention to the dot that appears on the minimap when he fires, and how long it lasts, how long it's there before it starts fading away. It turns out that dot will be visible for about 3 seconds on the minimap with no attachments. And I know if you look at the in-game stats for guns, the very bottom stat will show you your muzzle flash concealment and it's expressed in seconds. And the default with no attachments is 1 second. That doesn't line up with my testing and you can clearly see it for yourself, that dot is visible for a full 3 seconds. So I wouldn't trust that particular stat to be perfectly accurate, but it does give you a good indication at least. Let's move on to the next attachment. And with this one, it's on one of the shotguns and it gives you 50% concealment. And now the total time that dot is visible on the minimap is cut down to one second. So it's actually a little bit more effective than they state in the in-game stats, which is great. Next up, we have our 85% concealment, and with this one, you only pop up for 300 milliseconds when you fire a shot on the minimap, so it really significantly cuts down that time, and it is very noticeable. 
But finally, let's move on to 90% muzzle flash concealment. And with this one, you only show up for 100 milliseconds. So it's just a really quick flash on the minimap which in many situations could make the difference between an enemy noticing you on the minimap and not noticing you. Now, this is probably not going to do much against really skilled players that have really good minimap awareness. However, it definitely does improve your odds of not being seen on the radar when firing a gun that's technically not actually suppressed. Which, speaking of suppressors, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. If you are using something with 100% muzzle flash concealment, you just straight up don't show up on the radar for firing that gun unless you're within the vicinity of a field mic, then the player that owns that field mic will be seeing you showing up on the radar. Aside from that though, you will be hidden on the radar when using a full-on suppressor with 100% muzzle flash concealment. And with that, that's pretty much everything I've got to share with you guys when it comes to this particular stat in the game. Hopefully this cleared up exactly what this means and how these attachments are going to be working for you and how they're going to be helping you, or in the case of that first person muzzle flash, possibly even hurting you. And this is where I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What do you think about this stat that they've added in Cold War, where it can help you a little bit on the minimap without actually giving you a full-on suppressor? And also, do you think it's worthwhile to use attachments that give you partial muzzle flash concealment? Do you think that's actually helpful for you in-game, or is it something where you're either going to go full suppressed or no muzzle flash concealment at all? For me personally, I really don't see enough benefits to using attachments that have like 90% concealment or 85% concealment, for instance, because at least in the lobbies that I tend to play in, it's really not going to be making a difference when it comes to enemies finding out where I am when I'm firing my gun. Now, maybe in some of the lower skill lobbies where enemies check that minimap far less frequently, then maybe it's going to be helping you out a little bit more. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on this, and I want to hear what you guys are thinking about that in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.